Does the definition of what constitutes fully vaccinated need to change now to include a booster shot? We're going to follow that very carefully, Dana, and that's what we say, and that's what we mean when we say we let the science and the data follow us. We're going to be doing the best we can to keep the American public optimally protected. If that means that that's going to be a boost that will absolutely everyone will have to have, then so be it. We'll do it that way. But it will be guided by the science. And people should not be put off by the fact that as time goes by and we learn more and more about the protection, that we might modify the guidelines. That's what we've been saying all along by follow the science. Things change and you have to follow the data. Senator, I, this whole fiasco has it's turned a lot of people into conspiracy theorists because, I, I, come on now, it went from 15 days to slow the spread to Easter to Christmas to, well, if we can get Trump out of office, take your vaccine, take your second dose of vaccine, up the vaccine wears off and apparently 15 minutes, take your booster. When does this stuff ever end? It isn't going to end because... This is all about their getting power over you, control over your life, making decisions for you. And they want government control of your health care. And keeping you in lockdown is one way that they can do that. So, of course, they're going to continue with this. And sometimes I just chuckle when I see Tony Fauci speaking because no mask, one mask, two mask, 10 mask. Um, let's follow the science, but let's not follow the science. Let's stay in a lockdown. Uh, one shot, two shots now, a booster shot, changing what is going to be fully vaccinated. You're right. It's enough to make your head spin. And you think, when are they going to say, okay, COVID is going to be with us. We've got to learn how to deal with this. And we have therapies, we have pharmaceuticals, we have a vaccine, uh, there is a pill that is coming to market. And we have to keep this in perspective. And let me say this, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I am for vaccines. I am vaccinated. Um, I am anti-mandates and I am anti-government control saying you cannot go to this concert, you can't go to this event, you can't go to, to um, certain places unless you show your vaccine card or you're going to lose your job unless you have a vaccination. And I was talking to some employers this morning and people have valid medical concerns they are not getting the vaccine because of these. They've applied for their exemption. But Joe Biden would actually send them to the employment line if, he, if they defy him and don't get their vaccination. They would lose their job. I mean, this is ludicrous. This is oh, ludicrous. Is. We should be allowing employers to work with their employees and we should be allowing the utilization of these exemptions and allowing people to actually talk to their doctor and see what the doctor says. If they're a candidate for the vaccine, by all means, get it. But let's not send people to the unemployment line because they're not getting a vaccine. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.